How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show we're going to be talking about last night's match between Spurs and Everton. And I'll tell you something, there's not a lot to talk about on the pitch, apart from one incident in particular. Um, we're also going to be talking about Arsenal because it looks like Matteo Guendouzi's time at the club is over. I represent my fucking self. How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So the first place we're going to start is last night's Premier League game between Tottenham and Everton. And I'll tell you something, I wish I never watched it. What an absolute snooze fest. I'm not even joking. That is probably the worst game since we've came out of isolation. That kind of performance makes you wish there was no football. That was dreadful. That was absolutely shocking. Everton. I expected so much more from them, but they were so below par, so dreadful. Alex Awobi, what has happened to him? You know, from that bright youngster that burst onto the scene at Arsenal and looked like he was going to have an amazing career and future. And he's just gone backwards. He's dreadful. How on earth did Arsenal get nearly £40 million for him? Whoever sorted that deal out, my word, they deserve a pay rise of their own. In terms of the statistics of the game, Tottenham with 51% possession, of course, Everton with 49. 12 shots from Tottenham, 11 from Everton, only two on target from Tottenham and only three on target from Everton. And it was just an absolute snooze fest. Like I said, it was a Jose Mourinho performance. That's what that was. It was awful. And the only thing that Tottenham can walk away from there as any kind of a positive is the fact they got three points. Because apart from that, there is no positive. They're just not playing well at the moment. Um, but yeah, they do get three points. Now, there was an incident in the game that sparked everybody into life, I think. And that was at half time, where Hugo Lloris um, chased down uh, Hume Min Son. And... Um, if it wasn't for a few Tottenham players getting in between, I think Lloris would have been throwing punches. Um, and this stemmed from an incident uh, just before half time where Son never tracked back. And uh, Lloris was fuming about it to the point where he was, you know, on the pitch, really going for him and looking to, you know, get his hands around his neck, shall we say. And um, yeah, they all had to be separated and thrown down the tunnel. And you know what? I kind of agree with Lloris's reaction uh, because if you're captain and you've got a player out there that's not performing or not tracking back and working hard and, you know, putting you in danger, then why shouldn't you, you know, moan at him and say what you really think? It happens in football. You know, it's part and parcel of the game. Anything I probably would say is maybe wait 30 seconds, go in the dressing room and then start punching each other up um, because that's all everyone's going to be talking about now was this incident. And is it the Jose Mourinho effect? Because it doesn't look a very harmonious dressing room at the moment. Um, and there's reports and rumours that, you know, Jose's already given up on this season and he's already building for next year, which is why he's playing the likes of Sanchez and Dyer as centre-back pairing because that's who he wants and not Alderweireld and whatnot. And it's just weird what's going on at Tottenham, man. They're just not great. You know, they move up in the table um, to eighth position above Sheffield United on goal difference. One point behind Arsenal. Um, and of course, they do have the North London derby against Arsenal on Sunday. And uh, an interesting... Um, you know, note to put in your head about that game as well is that where the games are coming around thick and fast at the moment, Arsenal have done that side of things last week where the games are coming thick and fast. And, you know, later on uh, this evening, we play Leicester um, and then we've got a nice break until, you know, the game on Sunday. But Tottenham, they have to play on Thursday. And um, that's going to be difficult because what does you know, Jose Mourinho do. It's kind of like the Europa League, you know, conundrum. You play on a Thursday, get to Sunday, but normally in the Europa League, you can rest all your main players and save them for the Premier League game on the Sunday. But 
with this, the position that Tottenham are in, can they afford to rest anybody? I don't think they can, to be honest with you. Going to Bournemouth might not be as easy as they think. And um, despite Bournemouth having defensive problems in an attacking sense at Old Trafford the other day, they actually look really good. And um, if they play anything like that against Spurs, then they'll cause them a lot of problems and probably win the game. And Tottenham just can't afford that at the moment. Unless, of course, Jose Mourinho, like I was saying earlier, has given up on this season. And he is looking at the Champions League places and whatnot and saying, we ain't getting them. So, uh, no point. It's going to be an interesting one. But, um, yeah, all the talking point in this game is not the football. It's the near punch-up between Lloris and Son. And uh, whilst I actually remember, because I nearly forgot, the uh, Tottenham goal was an own goal by Michael Keane. Um, just in case anyone did forget. You probably did, because no one else can remember anything about that game. It was that crap. Um, last piece of news involves Arsenal and Matteo Guendouzi. Um, and it's not looking great news. And it looks like it may well be the end of the road for the youngster. Uh, David Ornestein has revealed that the French midfielder has not trained with the first team since their defeat at Brighton over two weeks ago. Uh, Guendouzi, who clashed with Mopai during the game and was alleged to have boasted to Brighton players about his superior wages, has disappointed Mikel Arteta with his attitude. Uh, the 21-year-old has since been training alone with a fitness coach. Um, and could now be on his way out of the club. Um, Arsenal are said to have already explored possibility of using Guendouzi in a swap deal in the forthcoming transfer window. Um, so yeah, that's a very, very bit of interesting news that broke last night. And um, it looks like his time is done at the club and Mikel Arteta has had enough. And I for one back him. Um, this is not the first incident involving Guendouzi. And um, he's a silly boy, man. His ability, we don't question it. He's such a talent. But his attitude, and it's not the first time, like I said, or even the second time, Unai Emery's fell out with him. Uh, when Mikel Arteta first came here and we went out to Dubai, there was problems there and he was dropped for the Premier League game after we came back against Newcastle. So Mikel Arteta has been in the job for a matter of months and he's had two run-ins with him already. And he's at the point now where he's like, no, done, bye-bye. And he's put him to train on his own, which is saying, you know what? I'm not putting your attitude around my first team players, around my players that want to play, that want to learn, that behave appropriately. I'm not having that around them. Off you go, there's a fitness coach. Go and train on your own. And it looks like his time at the club is done. And like I said, you don't doubt his talent. It's just his attitude because it stinks. I don't mind the fiery temper and all that side of things. When you're going around bragging about money and everything and having that kind of arrogance about you, you've not in the right to have that arrogance. You know, we've had loads of French players at Arsenal and the likes of Thierry Henry in particular who had that, um, you know, tag of being arrogant because he had his shoulders high and his chest out and he just had that aura about him. And Thierry Henry earned the right to be arrogant. Players respected him because he was one of the best in the world. And he earned it, like I said. Guendouzi's not earned it, he's 21. He's still learning. And you're going around talking about your wages and stuff. Behave yourself, man. And as Arsenal fans, we can't moan at this, all right, because for so many years, we've been crying out for a manager that actually puts his foot down, that actually don't let the players rule the roost at the club. And finally, we got one. Mikel Arteta is putting his foot down and saying, no, you're either on the boat or you're being left behind. And we need to back him on this because I agree with it. If you don't you know, buy into the project, you don't want to get on board, see you later. We'll replace you with somebody that does. And it's as simple as that, really. I can't say no more on the situation. It's a sad way to end, probably. But it is what it is and we move on and it won't be long before you know we don't even mention Gwendozi's name and you know it's all down to him and where he goes and you know how he decides to further his career does he you know fall at the wayside from this and does he end up being one of those players that had so much potential but then ruined it or is he one of those that you know will finally wake up one day and fulfill it we'll wait and see but right now 
we don't need that kind of attitude around the club. So bye-bye to Gwendozi. So there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topic, especially this Gwendozi situation as you're an Arsenal fan. Even if you're not an Arsenal fan, what do you think about that situation? Is it the right thing to do? Uh, remember, this is not you know, his first warning. He's had two or three. Um, and the club have finally you know, had enough of him. So... It's interesting. Um, now, of course, tonight you can catch me on AFTV for the watch along tomorrow morning, DT's Daily, and then, of course, the player ratings. Um, so if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video, and I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.